Hello, and welcome to my Frost Mage Guide. Sometimes Frost gets a little overwhelming, and there's some lingo we have to learn. The first thing we're going to learn is what this is right here. This is Fingers of Frost, and it appears around your character here. And you get Fingers of Frost by casting Frost Bolt. The next thing we're going to look at is brain freeze and it looks like this up here and it goes directly above your character and you get that by casting frost bulb and finally this is an icicle they float over your head and you get them by casting frost bolt fingers of frost or flurry now let's go visit one of our wooden trading dummies and learn more about single target and AoE. Let's try some single target stuff. We have our training dummy here, and our buffs are down here, and we have our guide up here. The first thing we're going to look at is what an icicle is. An icicle is a little bit of snow that kind of goes over your head like a like a crown. So we're going to get one, two, three, four, five. Now don't worry about these yet. We're not too worried about these. We're just looking at the icicles right here. And once we have five of them, we can unleash Glacial Spike. And Glacial Spike is your hardest hitting spell. So it gives the priority of one. The next uh, thing we're going to look at is what Winter's Chill is. Winter's Chill is a debuff that is applied when you cast Flurry. And this debuff is going to pop up. And the next two spells we use are going to act like they're frozen, which basically means they're going to crit. So we would want to use Ice Lance after that. So you can create a rule. When you see Brain Freeze, think Flurry, Ice Lance. And you might be thinking, well, I thought you had two spells that would crit. Why would you only use one? Well, we'll get into that later when we start weaving in Flurry and Glacial Spike. But for now, think of it as just two. So we would Flurry, Ice Lance, Ice Lance. Flurry, see the debuff? Ice Lance, Ice Lance. Now, you notice we got Glacial Spike again. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. It's our number one priority. Our second priority is to use Fingers of Frost. So Fingers of Frost is this buff here. And when you get that, I want you to think Ice Lance. So let's see if we can get a finger, Fingers of Frost proc. And it's the ones that go on the left. They'll be on the left and the right. See, we got one and we can get two if we really wanted it. There's two of them. So now we have two ice lances that will be frozen and look at that it's giving us icicles when we hit frozen targets huh. well that's a lot to put together let's see if we can just move through some of this rotation based on what we know and just see what happens our priority is ice lance we don't have glacial spikes so we have to use ice lance okay Flurry. Well, I've got these two here, so I know I have to Ice Lance, Ice Lance. Hmm. Now I need one more Icicle, and this one makes it crit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Flurry to get the Icicle, use the debuff with Glacial Spike, and then do an Ice Lance right after it. I don't know if that Ice Lance really hit because the, you got to be quick. You got to go right from one to another. And that's the basics 
of how to single target and these are the priorities. Now let's start weaving some stuff together. We have Ray of Frost right here and we also have Icy Veins right here. Ray of Frost is just a single target thing that it hits pretty hard and Icy Veins just make makes you cast faster. So we'll pretend we're on a boss over here. We're going to Icy Veins and then immediately Ray of Frost because this is a big single target hitter. When Icy Veins right in there we got our little buddy. Oh let's look at our priorities. Ice Lance, Ice Lance, Flurry. Oh, got to use the debuff. There. There. Oh, that's a priority. Do you see how all of these are priorities? Now, you've got about a minute and a half left on Icy Veins. And you want it back up as soon as possible. So right after your Icy Veins expires and you're beating everybody up, you want to shifting power. And look, you're reducing the cooldown of that and your Ray of Frost. Up next, we're going to look at some AoE, and AoE is right here, and I want you to think Frozen Orb, then Blizzard. Um, I had to make it a shark, because I couldn't find anything that said then to me, so I, th I thought a shark would be kind of fun. Uh, you can think of it as Frozen Orb, Shark, Blizzard, if that helps. But we're going to Frozen Orb, and that makes Blizzard instant. And then we can start in our, with our regular rotation. It's a good rule of thumb to always keep Blizzard on cooldown when you're fighting three or more mobs. So... We've got 18 seconds left on this. Let's shifting power and get it back. Now, every time you hit them with Blizzard, look at what happens to your frozen orb. Uh, that's not trick photography. That's the cooldown jumping down real quick. You see? So every time Blizzard hits, it reduces the cooldown on this. This creates a nice little feedback loop for AoE. And now with this spec, there's another layer to that AoE. So let's say you're doing your normal stuff and you'll Frozen Orb, then Blizzard, right? We'll frozen Orb, Blizzard's freebie. Everything's going good. But let's Cone of Cold. Oh, we just got Frozen Orb back immediately. So we're going to want to use that right now. And another instant. This creates its own feedback loop. I would like to give you some practical application experience. But before we venture out, we'll need to set our talents. Now on the right side here, you may recognize some of these. This is every time you cast Blizzard, it reduces the cooldown of Frozen Orb. This is Icy Veins. This one means that Blizzard is instant after you do Frozen Orb. This is where we use Cone of Cold to reset the cooldown of Frozen Orb. That's Ray of Frost. And here's Glacial Spike. In the dungeon, you'll be wanting to use Mass Barrier and Temporal Warp. So what you can do is you can import this talent tree directly into your game if you're going to be following along. You click Import, and then down into this, the description will be a long series of numbers that looks like that. You're going to paste that in with control V and then name your layout.
and it automatically puts all the talents in there for you. Now we're ready to go and put this to practical use. So what we're going to do is put this into practice. So I know it can be a little worrisome the first time you DPS. So we'll go to group finder here, select DPS, and then follower dungeon. And we're going to go to the academy and then just click find group. And if you're following along, you can get into WoW and and go on the adventure together. So this has popped up and then we're going to enter it. And here we are in Algathar Academy. And when you first get in a dungeon, you're going to want to buff people. And that's Arcane Intellect right there. It not only helps you, but it helps everyone else. The next thing that you're expected to do is conjure refreshments. And then you can click on it and get yourself some food. And it just restores your health. And you are also expected on bosses to use time warp. And at the end of the dungeon, you're expected to shoot them out a portal to one of these places they want to go. So let's take a look at some of the defensives you might be using in here. Um, this is ice block, and it basically turns you into a big ice cube so no one can hurt you. And this is a huge defensive. And this is just your barrier. Kind of keep that on cooldown. And this is your mirror image. Oops, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to click that, but I guess mistakes happen. That's mirror images. And this is your mass barrier. So when you click it, it gives everyone your shield. So those are some of the things that are expected of you. So let's go ahead and get in here. And so we're coming up to our first poll. And remember, we're going to be using Arcane Orb and then Blizzard. Orb, Blizzard, do our priorities, Blizzard, oh no, we can use our Cone of Cold, get our Orb back. Let's do that again. So I'm looking at my options, so I know I've got to do my orb and then blizzard. Alright, and one more time. This time we have Cone of Cold too. Cone of Cold. And now we have to face the boss. I don't know how I feel about killing a tree being this close to Arbor Day. So we know we're going to do Icy Veins and then Ray of Frost. And then if we can, immediately do Frozen Orb so we can start in our priority list. So tank should be getting him. 
Time Warp, Icy Veins, Ray of Frost, and then follow our priorities. Oh, I, I shot out too many Ice Lances. You're going to do that a lot. It's hard to do it perfectly every time. But that's basically how you do it with AoE and single target. Well, what about gear, I hear you ask? Well, as you're leveling and you're going through heroics and lower end mythics, if it has a higher item level, go ahead and equip it. If it has the same item level as a different item you're looking at, but it has more mastery, equip that one. Frost Mage is an amazing spec, and I hope you enjoy it. I've left out some of the more intermediate stuff, such as getting Winter's Chill from Cone of Cold and other advanced techniques. If you really like the video, let me know, and if there's a demand for it, I'll make an intermediate one. Thank you.